you guys, it's me, Amma Jane. It's been a while, guys. Oh my god, the camera looks a bit awful. Oh, here we go, it looks better. It's been a while, you guys. I miss you so much. Oh my gosh, how are you? Are you all good? Uh, I'm back. And yeah, my reaction video of Big Ben has been blocked by YG, of course, because I used it on the Reactor TV app. And the Reactor TV will no longer do what they were doing with um, react live reactions on the app for the time being because of financial financial problems and it, bugs keep coming in, viruses keep coming in onto the app. So, and because of the financial issues, they had no choice but to close down the app. So, we have no choice. So we have to go back to this which I don't know how to edit, I don't know how to put what everyone else does to see reaction videos and stuff but with this, with that said I now here do back on reviewing of K-pop reviews, I'm sorry I wish I could do reactions but unfortunately I'm on this computer and this computer is not unlike I don't have a camcorder, I do have one but it's one of those really ugly looking ones that have to have a battery like like you know where you put on your on your remote controls that, that kind of battery uh yeah and I don't know how to use a camera to be honest so at the moment I might get a camera I don't know when uh I don't know how is this is going to be like when it comes to editing videos because I oh but anyways okay so I was meant to do the review on Beast and because of the circumstances with one babysitting, two I had to deal with um um with McDonald's process. Uh I failed a probation so I can't work in McDonald's. So I'm back in being unemployed, still searching for jobs, uh still doing my um uh, my usual stuff on what I do best. Uh, writing stories for you guys on Wattpad for the time being and at the same time trying to figure out, trying to form a cr film crew which is not going to be easy I know that, I know I have met a couple of people and uh, people have agreed to me to to meet me and stuff and if you're interested you, for those who live in, in, the, in London not somewhere else you know in really far away like if you're really far away uh, probably it could be an actor that lives far, far away. Uh, could be Asian, could be non-Asian, could be black, white, yellow, green, all sorts of people. I mean, yes. So for the time being, it's just me doing this for the time being until I get a job and so many. Get my my correct equipment because I don't have the correct equipment for editing and stuff. I don't have a microphone. Actually, I actually do have one, but it's one of them small ones. But I think I need to have a battery for it to make it work. So, uh, I got myself a PlayStation 3. Uh, my friend gave it to me. Uh, sorry, Mr. Things freezing the way. As you can see, is the PS3, um, the the super slim. And yeah, unfortunately. I can't use it either, mainly because uh, the DVD player here, uh, as you can see here, is this, there's a light there, it's flashing on the way, uh, there you go, uh, that's the DVD player, um, my mum bought that second hand, and actually someone gave it to her, a very pretty good friend of her, uh, he's an Englishman, he gave it to her because he didn't need it, and it had no remote control, so yeah. It was a bit of problems because when I want to watch something in Japanese, it will automatically automatically come up English, which I hate the most. If you are an anime fan, so yeah. And uh, the TV, as you can see, is right there. Uh, the problem with this TV, uh, it doesn't have the cable to connect. The, 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 this doesn't have a very specific call. I think it's the HMI. I think that's what it's called. The cable, that particular cable, to connect the TV. But instead, 
the correct equipment for that hole is on the DVD player. But I don't have a remote control to change. To remote control to say, hey, I want to play the PS3 now. Can we just connect or something like that? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So last night, I went Amazon. I found the correct... Um, actually, I went through Argos. Uh, for those of you are not English, I mean, if you live outside, I'll tell you what Argos looks like. We have... This, my mum would describe this uh, as my Bible, basically. It is, kind of in a way, because ever since I was a kid, I always loved to have... Uh, Argos catalog for 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 I don't know for the weirdest reasons because they got awesome. It it just convinces you because it's really awesome. It's so big. This is how big it is. I mean, this is the new edition, uh, winter autumn and winter 2015. As you, they always have it like underneath like down here. Uh, they will have. What I like about this art about Argos is like when you when you get the catalog when you get the catalog you get it for free anyway. So. When you get the catalog, uh, basically, what I like is like it's so big, but at the same time they don't muddle up all the stuff that is for sale in one place. They all have it on separate. That's why they got this like, and here if you can see from here, that's got the colours, so you know which one is which. So if you go into like near the end, like, like kind of orangey here, that's the kids section. That was my always been my favourite section from my childhood. Obviously, when you get older. You just you kind of scroll up. You just scroll quickly. Scroll because you, you're old there now. So now you either see the the this technology stuff called consoles or uh, technology stuff that you need. So the time being, I, I need technology, which is like the light blue here, which is right, like down here. I, aha, there it is. It's just that one. That's the technology section. Uh, where they sell uh, like phones, uh, mobile phones, um, laptops, Chromebooks, uh, TVs, uh, the equipment that is corrected that is needed. I don't need. I'm. I'm. I feel glad that I don't need a what's it called again? Uh, a selfie stick or a thingy for the for the camera, which is the tripod. But around here, I was looking as a dude. I need something called. I need a remote control that is cheap and that goes with this. And I literally came across here. Uh, actually, oh, there's the page. Uh, there you go. Uh, I just looked on this in this part, and I saw this one here, because this this mark the one the the DVD cl uh, play, uh, player uh, brand is called Bush, which is pretty popular here. Uh, so yeah, I was like, oh, I need a Bush, but I need to see. That some a remote control that has to have like for DVDs. So luckily, I found this on this section that is that is meant to be for DVD players, and I saw bushes like this is perfect, and plus it's, it's pretty cheap. So I just decided to look for it. This particular, this same one on Amazon, I luckily found one. Obviously, they were selling the new ones that is for Amazon like twenty two pounds, but I was like, dude, seriously. But I decided to buy like a second hand, which is like used. You find a word used. I was like seven pound ninety nine, and it cost three pounds something for the delivery, which is still cheap. I mean, like one sec. What? What? Huh? No say. Sorry guys, like she always does this. Like when I'm do doing something, why do you need to call me? I kind of feel frustrated when I just can't do anything because they just call me for no reason. Anyways, back to this. Uh, yes. So luckily I got the remote control. Um, probably I might do. I thank thank God my friend gave me so many stuff that is needed for this. The PS3. I mean, the camera goes with. Comes. He gave me the camera. He gave me the the little webcam. I'll show you to you actually. Hold on. Uh. Uh. Oh damn! Where did I put it? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh wait. 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 There should be somewhere I can see it. Like easily to find. Oh my god. I just 
didn't remember. Oh well, never mind. I can't remember where I put it. Oh my god. Uh, where did you be? Hmm? Oh, I got that from the screen. I know where you are. I, I can't be bothered. Yeah, it's in a very special luggage. Uh, and that special luggage has a lot of stuff. And I had to, as you can see, I just still moved. Ever since I moved to a new house, uh, it has been hectic, to be honest. My shoe was all over the place. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit better than it was. Uh, you can see my bag of dirty clothes. Uh, my, my robe. Uh, my hat, uh, my shoes, there's a few bags hanging there. Uh, as you can see, that's my wardrobe, uh, my massive wardrobe. Uh, yes, uh, and also, thank God, I was able to hang after two years, two or three years since I ever bought it, and I didn't get the chance to stick it to the wall because I knew that if, if there's a time that we have to move house. I just don't want to crimple my poster. And this poster was this guy over there. Um, hold on. There we go. See that handsome man over there? That beautiful man over there? Woo! Woo, he's fine. He's a fine man over there. Yes. As you all know, I am a One Piece fan. Uh, obviously, duh. I have a lot of stuff. Huh? Uh, uh Carne. Please. Okay, so as you can tell, I am a big, humongous One Piece fan. Uh, this is one of my evidence that I have this everywhere I go. This guy is always there with me. Yes. Okay, uh, as you can see in the corner, uh, on my, you saw the hat there, that's the hat, um, my friend gave it to me for my birthday, as you remember when I was doing, I think I did, what was it, that challenge that I did, I think it was that shuffle challenge, and I was wearing the thing on my neck, I was, because it has the string, thank you Jesus, and it smells like straw, and it was overwhelming, yes, it was overwhelming, I felt so happy, because that was the official toy, toy, toy animation official hat of the Mugiwara hat, like Luffy, Mugiwara no Luffy's hat kind of thing. I was like, yes. Okay, what is my next evidence that I'm still um, not just One Piece, but also an anime and manga fan? Uh, let me just take you to my little corner. It's still, uh, it's still meh. But it's just just for temporarily. It's just that, as you can see, this is. Oh yeah, that's my mom. Uh, when she was young. And that one there is my granddad, which who I never met. He died years ago, so I never got the chance to meet him. Uh, neither my brother, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, that little person there, that's me. Uh, that's my magic box, which no one no one knows. That's my real name. Uh, for those who don't know me as much, that's my birth name. But that's the reason why I'll explain that to my uh, next video. I will do like my 50 facts about me. I will just eventually say many things. Uh, just showing the things that I have. Uh, as you can see, um, I got a couple One Piece manga here from here. I really want to buy more. <laughs> it's just for the time being it's just so hard because I got so much stuff of stuff well it's not the stuff I have uh, I've still got my Korean um, um, English Korean uh, dictionary language uh, from Collins pocket dictionary which is really good it's pretty it comes in handy it really comes handy I mean handy like and also got the phrase book uh, I've got the Japanese one the Korean one it's really helpful uh, okay uh yeah we have I have like like how many again oh dopey oh jeez damn it got destroyed my rabbit got in the way 
Let's put you there. Okay. <laughs> I have about 23 volumes of fairy tale. Uh, my friend has told me, but he hasn't spoiled me anything because I'll be mad at him. I will just beat the hell out of him if he did spoil it to me. If he did spoil it. It was that the, the latest mangas were really good. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's going to get down. Oh, it's going to get... Mm -mm. It gets interesting. So, I'm really hyped. And, yes. I'm still looking forward to... And obviously on Amazon, I have on my wish list separation. So, so my mum won't start nagging at me. So, why do you have in your wish, wish list that diabolical books? Which she finds this kind of... Yeah, but I don't. I find it very interesting. It's kind of challenging for your mind. Uh, let's see what I have. That is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. If for those who have seen my mom, she is. She looks old. She's older than she looks. So this is her when she was young, like seventeen years old. Ah, there she is. That's my mom. Uh, that's random. Sorry. Just put that there. This is my mom. Uh, yeah, she was always being vain. Uh, she's the kind of person that I would say, oh, wow, vanity. That person here, who's not vain at all, and is still the random, crazy, not crazy, but random, who say weirdest things of all times. That's me over there. I think that was my first teeth. Don't remember, but yeah. Uh, a couple of baby pictures of me, like, which... I don't usually show to people, but people just see it eventually. Uh, my 3DS, obviously, has been here with me for, I think, two years? One year? Wow, time has quickly just passed so quickly. It's, wait. The three fairy tales, hold on. 2013? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, I haven't for two years! Oh my god. You see, when it comes to me, I like to look after things. I, I don't lend people my stuff. Because they'll eventually break it. So, I don't know how long I'm going to have this PS3. PS3 is going to be there for a long time. I would guarantee you that. Uh, yeah. What else do I have? Obviously, my friend gave me the new games. A couple new games I bought myself. And a couple games that my friend gave it to me. Uh, yesterday, uh, let me just, a couple games I had, like, for a while now, but never shared it to anyone, so let me just show you the games I have, so, obviously my first game, my first PS3 game, was eventually this one. Oh yes, speaking of One Piece, it has to be One Piece, and one, one it was cheaper when it first came out, when it first came out it was pretty expensive, like, 30 pounds? 30, 30, 3 zero. I was like, dude, why is it so expensive? So, I remember when my friend told, bragged about, oh, the game is so awesome and this and that, trying to show off, trying to make myself, my life a bit, feel a bit of misery. Feel, feel like miserable. Like, really now? Feeling a bit jealous. So, he, because he used to live so close to my house, I used to go off to college and just say, you know what, I'm going, I'm going to crush over your house and play some games. So I'm not that kind of girl, like some girls would think, oh, spread your legs. No. I, if I got a very close friend, if, whether it's male or female, cat or a dog, I will not mess around. I will just, my mind is on video games. And that is that. Uh, video games or... I, I don't know, watch K-pop, anything, anything could happen. At that time, hold on, at that time, I think there was like, I think I have this like three years. Wait. Yes, three years. Three years. Three years. Three years ago. And I think I was re recently just slowly getting into K-pop at that time. Um, I, 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 there's this shop, please do not underestimate this name, it's just, it's just, it's just, uh, that's why some of us have to call it Kex, because it's spelled C-E-X, or some of us just call it C-E-X, but it's pronounced sex, but some people, when we say that, some people just look at you like, what the hell? What my, what day in mind do you have? Like, is it, no, I was referring to a shop 
that is sells exchange video games is that that sells video games films and mobile phones and consoles stuff that is needed laptops uh Macs you name it you name it every it has everything and I'm I was pretty surprised that it's really in the in the US the US really they open a branch of the same shop I mean it's really popular now obviously it's originate originate from here so plus it's very cheap when you buy stuff from that so I went to one of the shops and I was like scrolling through scrolling through it was kind of bored I was like it's like dude this is going to be hard to get to see or see a really good game that would say I want it so badly and when I saw this my mind is like had to process for a long time that so, dude please tell me that is one piece the one game my friend keeps saying bragging about and I looked it's like oh my god yes and it went from 30 pounds to 20 and I said this game is mine I'm going to buy it so from that day I bought the game and stuff and I and I said to my friend oh, I bragged about it like said haha I got the game too now what are you gonna do but now you can't brag about it so he said well he he had that well but you won't survive I was like what do you mean he's like the game is very really precise you need to be really you need to really carefully to um carefully um pay attention where to go who to meet what moves to use this and that yada 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 you will not survive blah 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 at that time there was a guy who was also a One Piece fan who used to live in my house and he had a PS3 um, I think it was the slim yeah it was the second um, PS3 that is a little bit bigger than this one um, and a lot heavier I remember uh, and I said to him said, Cause since we are a One Piece fan and there's another girl who's female that she she's awesome um, and I said dude do you want to play One Piece game he was like hmm I was like what do you mean the cards I said no 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 I was, I was referring to this I showed us that like, oh my god you did not I was like yep got it from the shop let's play so from then on I remember starting playing this this game is so freaking dope I was like yes it's a lot different uh, back in the time at that time it was like oh my god yes uh, at that time it's always the one piece and and the one piece was the reason as I was, I'll restate again for those who don't know how I got into K-pop one piece was the reason why I got into K-pop I mean I didn't have friends I do have friends, but I don't have friends that at that time that are into hardcore one uh, K-pop, like 100%. Or uh, yeah, that kind of thing. So this is how I got into K-pop, guys. This One Piece, One Piece series. So uh, One Piece slash DBSK connection, because that's how I got to know K-pop. Yay! So. With that said, um, at that time, Psy was big. At that time, I used to work in MTV cleaning, uh, and I saw the screen this Asian guy, chubby Asian guy. That I was like, oh, who's this guy? He's like, is he Japanese? But at the time, I didn't know Korea was having a big thing at that time because I was paying attention, doing my job, <laughs> clean, and go home and get paid, basically, for doing a good job cleaning. So for two hours, which I hated to be, I didn't really like the job. It was pretty depressing because you can't talk to anyone. Um, you're you can't eat or well you can eat, but that's like beforehand. Uh, yeah, it's no interaction. It was pretty boring, in my opinion, in my experience. MTV was awesome. I mean, people were lovely, to be honest. But but you can't really say much. You just say hi and goodbye and may I just clean your mess. You don't mind if I take out your rubbish. Things, things that kind of, in that kind of little bubble. It was really, as if I said, Stanislavski kind of acting, acting mode in a box. Kind of reference on the K-pop world of SM Entertainment. 
the Stanislavski mode in the box. But anyway, with that said, um, yeah, eventually at that time, I got a little bit curious about him. Then I saw Hyona. I'm like, ah, oh, she's interesting. She's very pretty. And then my friend is saying who's into One Piece. He said, she's really hot. I was like, who? It's that girl. I was like, ah. Oh. I was like, yeah, she's very pretty, actually. So, yeah. Um, I'm revealing a lot of stuff, you guys. <laughs> um, so, eventually, my the other day, then a month after I completed... Was it a month? Or less than a month. It was, I think it was less than a month I completed the whole game with my friend. And my friend also decided to play it while I was going to work. He would play some parts of it, like, you know, sharing a Karen. Share, share, you know, pick and share. Um, then after, before he left for Spain, uh, obviously I had to keep my game because it's mine in the end of the day. I decided to go back to the shop, but close by to where my, my old house used to be. I used to go to Camden, walking to Camden Town, and from the station there's a shop, Kex, Sex, whatever, CEX, you can name it, whatever you want, it's no one's uh, um, forcing you to say the word, but, and I saw, I was like, dude, I need a game that will be awesome to keep forever, and then I found this, as you know, I also have it on on 3DS so yeah I I think I'm going to get the Ultra yeah I'm going to get the Ultra because I had really good things about the Ultra so when I was yeah at the time I saw this and I said dude this is a cheap this is so cheap like five pounds this is mine and because I love this game so much I love Street Fighter genre. I mean, Street Fighter franchise for such a long time since I was a kid, because I did eventually grew up with these guys, these guys. So, and I, as you know, in the new games, the like, the upcoming um, Street Fighter Five, uh, they kind of changed Ken how he looks. So I had to get used to the fact that he looks different than he is like in here. Like he, as you can see. He has oh claim point there we go. As you can see here, he was known for his um red robe, his um gloves and bare feet and especially his blonde his hair like the way it is. And now they changed him, now he has a he has a hairband on his well, not exactly a hairband, but he has it like like this in a kind of tuck way, but still he has strand of hair, so it kind of looks a little, a little bit longer than it is. Um his outfit looks different. He's he's still got his bushy eyebrows, but his his style, his style, his appearance looks so different that we that we're all used to seeing since we were like five. We're so he's so used to seeing. Oh look, there's there's Ryu's twin because they they say the same thing. Like certain moves are the same. Uh. The only difference is one has white robe, the other one's red robe, and one is blonde hair, the other one's got black hair. So, and they both got bushy eyebrows, and yeah, you kind of get used to it. And now you've seen this change, and you're like, at first I was like, ah, how am I going to get used to this? But we have to get used to it. So I had to get used to it in a way. My friend as well, he was a bit unsure at the, at the time, at first, but then he said, then he said to me yesterday, I was like, dude, if you saw the, 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 the Ken, uh, how people were playing Ken, Ken is wild, it's like, Ken is really wild, it's really insane, it's really fast and really, uh, which he really likes, so, that is this one, and then, he decided, because I had a 3DS, I'm like, you know what, let me get this game, uh, it was a little bit more, expensive than this one obviously because I got it on a different shop which was not Kex at all I cost about £22 but I didn't care I just needed to give it a try uh, on the 3DS it was different the only downfall the only downfall on this version on the 3DS is the fact that you can't change the language at all you just really can't and I wish really wish because the English version really sucks 
<laughs> it really sucks. And I really prefer the Japanese version than the English, so this one has more chance in changing languages, whereas this one has fat chance, zero fat chance of changing. You can't change it at all, you just leave it as it is. I'm like, Bleh. But overall, with the characters, I really love playing Akuma on this one. I hope I'll enjoy this one as well. So, yeah, I enjoy playing all the characters like Kami, Chung Li, um, Blanca, Ken and Ryu, Sakura, um, who else? Um, oh, shoot. Um, yeah, there's Kami as well. I think I said Kami. Uh, Akuma. Yeah, and the char I mean, there's, there's so many characters. There's so many characters, it's just unbelievable. So yeah, there's a lot of characters here, uh, interesting characters. Oh, there's Guile as well, there's Zangief. Uh, there's Rose, there's Gen, there's Dan. Dan, it, you can't really take him seriously. Oh, there's Fei Long, Gouken, um, Seth, Abel, El Fuerte, uh, Rufus, C. Viper. Sagat, there's Bison, uh, Balrog, Vega, Dalslim, Dalslim. Oh, there's Ikonda. So, there's, there's quite a lot of characters here. There's quite a lot of them this time. And there's DJ, there's T-Hawk, Guy, Cody, Ibuki, Makoto, Dudley, and Aiden. And Hakan, Yuri. Yeah, those are the, the characters I just read out. That's the characters that is in the game. Uh, yeah, it's only, the only thing I don't really like is the language barrier, but whatever. And then at the time, uh, I was playing this game as well. Um, uh, as you, for those who don't know, I am a major hardcore fan of Dragon Quest franchise. Freaking epic! Yes! Oh my god, I love this game so much! My first game was the ninth game, um, Dragon Quest IX. Sen Sentinel Sentinels of the Starry Skies. It's freaking awesome, so much fun. And I don't know what some t some people on the reviewing games, reviewing, reviewing gaming, gaming reviews, um, kind of exaggerate a little bit too much, saying, as it all. Oh, this should be fun with people. It doesn't really need to be fun. But they say it's boring doing this on your own. No, it's not really. I, I was, dude. I spent nights, nights trying to complete the game. I don't need anyone to say, "Hey, I want to complete a game," but I need people. Not really. You get a party. Uh, I'm more interested in the story. Uh, the story is very interesting. I don't remember now, but yes. If you haven't played any Dragon Quest, I so recommend you. For those who always play Pokemon, if you like Pokemon, for those who love Pokemon, you will love this. I mean, actually, let's just rephrase this. This, this franchise here is actually the first franchise. Way before um, Final Fantasy and way before Pokemon. And way before all these new RPG games that keep coming out. This is the first one. This is the original one. I mean, not this one. I mean, this particular number nine. But from the, I mean, this started like way in the back in the uh, back in the eighties. I mean, I wasn't even born. Or was I born? Probably in the second one. I think it came out on. I don't remember, but still, it's really popular. I mean, it's one of the most famous um, franchise in Japan. So, yeah. And plus. For those who make it easier, this has manga, has has anime series, movies. Um, oh, I don't think movies, but they have this a lot of this. Uh, the the person who designed the the, the characters is um the guy, Akira Akira Toriyama from the guy who did Dragon Ball. Obviously, he designs he designed the characters like you know drawing design kind of thing. He actually created every single one of them, every single one of the franchise from the first one to now. I mean, I, I really, I, it's, yeah, yeah, I'm babbling right right now. Okay, so then after a while, I started buying some games for the 3DS, obviously. Uh, 
Let me just take some out. Uh, sorry guys. This is going to be a long one guys. Uh, yeah. And then I bought this one. Chronicles Samurai Warriors. Really good. I haven't completed the game because it's been a while. Because there's kids coming around here, like my nephews and stuff. It's a bit too, too, too violent for them, so... They have to be 12 years old until they can, they're allowed to play it, but they, because they're kids, like eight, nine years old, they can't play it. They can't be. They, they're still too young. So, uh, it's a pretty good game. That it's just feels like you're you're doing history lesson basically. So, and then my friend knows me how much I love One Piece. He bought me this one. Uh, One Piece Unlimited World R. World Red, I think it was. I was World R. Oh, world, world, World Red. Um, on the 3DS version, because that was originally it was meant to be originally just for 3DS, but because of the franchise that see keep coming up for the Pirate Warriors, they decided to make one for the 3DS, a uh, PS3, PS3, PS4. Is it PS? No, no, PS3, 3DS, PS3, and on uh, PS Vita. Sorry, PS Vita as well. So. So as soon as this, I think it's a PS4 as well, but I don't remember. But yeah, he actually got the PS3 one. I got this one, and yeah, the game is good. But obviously, this game is only good for the 3DS. But it says it's not very good on the PS3 because it it's, it's, it's it feels a bit silly on the PS3 than it is on the on the uh, 3DS. So 3DS is more, yeah. But he says that my friend says that, that even though he, just, he didn't really like the game on the PS3, but the 3DS was fun, is that he said that, that the good thing about this is that the graphics on this game is insane. Really 100% insane and really good. So he was impressed with the with the design on it. And I also completed the whole game, which is pretty awesome. I don't know how I did it, but I just did. So that you also can do some certain missions. So, so, so yeah, you do some, you do things in it. So yeah. Okay, my next one that I bought myself was the 3DS um, version of Tekken 3D Prime Edition. So I bought this like, was it five pounds, ten pounds, round that price uh, in sex. Uh, yeah. This is awesome because on this game is not only the game itself, but it also comes with the movie. So I said, I also said, I said to myself, I'm gonna save up a lot of money just to buy myself the, the movie. But game, obviously, the game has Japanese, Korean, Japanese and English kind of thing, but the movie is just English. I'm like, why? Why does it need to be Japanese? Because it can't be like in Japanese and stuff in English. But okay. But with that said, the whole thing, the whole genre of this is just amazing. I really love this game so much. Um, and then I will go into the franchise itself, which. Hold on. Yeah. I bought. I finally rebought this one because I got. I lost one of my games. I lost on my. I had other games I had before, but someone, I don't know how it got lost. I remember trying to check my bag and I couldn't find the little, this little thing that I had, little case that I had, which is like, for phones, but I just shoved in all the games I used to have, like 3DS, all the 3DS games, all the Mario games, all, all the um, brain training games, they're all, all in there. And all of a sudden one day it got disappeared. And it's this included the old, some of my old um, games, which it was the Dragon Quest, like, Dragon Quest games. So, I had to rebuy some of them, so this was one of the luckiest ones that I found, yeah, um, one of my, I think it was in December, like, last year, kind of thing. Uh, I was lucky to find it, so, yeah. Uh, this game is also pretty awesome, although this is old school. This is it. Old, one of the old school style. They decide, It's more. It's not like the. It's unlike. It's very different to the ninth version because the ninth version is more. 
newer than this one. I think this one came up back in the 90s, like when the technology wasn't advanced. So yeah, it's also the storyline is interesting. Uh, it's very different to different to to the original Dragon Quest genres. I mean Dragon Quest uh, franchise. So it's really cool playing these games. It's RPGs also. <coughs> And then at the time, I decided to buy a new game. I decided to buy like last two years ago as well. This was two years. I have this game for two years. Yes, two years. I bought this game. Uh, this one is the Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Uh, as you can see, this game is awesome. And in this game, I chosen this one. This guy here. Um, everyone loves this guy with yellow fur, with red cheeks, and he's just fat, and he has a really cute face. Yeah. So yeah, I changed his name to Luffy. So that's what's so like, awesome about this game. You can change your name, and you can change the rest of them. So yeah. The story is interesting. Everything in it is very interesting. Uh, it's very different. It's really, really different to other games that you would see. You that you would see most of the time. So I don't know. I just love this game so much. I really love this game. I really do. Uh, yeah. So it, I completed the cold game as well. Damn, this game was so easy. Like I, I know there was a few months that I stopped and I just gave it a rest. And then I'll get back to it and complete the whole game. And I'm like, yes. Hoorah, I complete the whole game. So, yeah, this this game was fun. And after that was finished, I was like, what else am I going to play? I complete One Piece. I complete um, Dragon Quest games. I complete this one here. So what am I going to play now? So my friend decided to buy me. He asked me, what do you want? He bought me, bought me um, some stuff like, for the the case. He gave me the case, which is this one here. Hold on, let me just take it out. Uh, so a couple of stuff that like, he came with, like you know. He gave me this case. He bought me the case here, and it came with this and some other stuff like headset and stuff, uh, which was pretty dope. Uh, yeah, and. At that time, he asked me, "Do you want a Pokemon game?" So was that all oh, Pokemon game? So would it, which Pokemon game are they? So there's, 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 do you want the Pokemon Y or the Pokemon X? And I said, "What's the Pokemon X looks like? Because it has a reindeer." It's like, "Ah, uh, what's the other one?" He says, "Oh, the other one's a really giant bird, and it looks, he looks beast." I was like, "Oh, give me that one." And I have the Pokemon Y, so he gave me the Pokemon Y, and this game is freaking epic. Jesus Christ, this game is so epic, it's so much fun. You get to travel, you do so many things, the soundtrack's awesome, this thing here is beast, and yeah, and you can do stuff, you can stroke your own Pokemon character. Uh, it shows you right here anyway, so, I know it's blurry, oh, I'm pointing him. Uh, where I am pointing, that is that it's that little one you want to touch your stroke your pet it's like your pet basically your pokemon you just you just you just use your 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 thingy on your on the pad and you just rub on her belly and then like ah kind of thing it just they just feel love so okay so you can do many things you can train them as well so it's pretty awesome to, to do and then after a while i completed that when i was like oh my god and I realised the new one was coming out, which is the the remake of the Pokemon Ruby, which is the Omega Ruby and Sapphire. I don't remember, but it has a big whale on it. So I decided to my friend to give me this one, and he get he bought me this one. This game is <sighs> so much memories. This game, my gosh. You get to travel, you get to do six missions, and you can do so many things in this game, it's so much, it's so awesome. 
I love this game so much. It's like, yes. So, uh, I'm glad I completed these games, because these games are, yes. This game is life. These games are life. And these games are life itself as well, since I completed them. And then, this year, that's when my friend gave me the PS3 that he bought. And then it came with the camera, um, as you can see, it came with it. It came with this. So, I'm glad I got this. So as you can see, that's what the ca my webcam would look like, like this. So it has the microphone and stuff. It has so much stuff that is, like, dope. I'm like, yes. I just can't wait to use it. And then he gave me this, which he didn't need anymore. He didn't want it, so he decided to give it to me. Which is the the One Piece Pirate Warrior Treasure Edition. So this is, like, the extended one. So, yeah. Pretty awesome. And then... Yesterday, I met up with my friend, and he gave me this. Thank you, Jesus. I know this is not the. I know there's a second one. I have to wait until I get some money and buy myself the second game. Uh, I have this one. I literally have the second, third game. I think actually, have, this is my third game. This is the third game I really was so hyped, and I was so wait for so long, and I'm so glad the way it looks and you can see uh there's um Dolphy Do Flamingo, there's Luffy and there's Sabo. Um uh, Sabo's right here. Uh, it's overwhelming and you can see more here there's again Do Flamingo, Sabo, uh Luffy actually that's not Sabo, sorry, there's Do Flamingo, Ace, Luffy, Sabo and L Law. And this game is really dope. Actually he says my friend has spo not spoil it for me, but he said the game itself is epic. Like the first and the second are really good. Oh, they got stuff I didn't notice. Oh my god, yes. Look, yes. I need this so badly. I need one of these. Oh my god, are you serious? I didn't see this. I'm just seeing this now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> there's a there's there's a there's a there's a thing. Oh my gosh. Mm. Jesus be the fence. Oh my god, I'm having a moment here. And yeah, he said he says that because he's got the PS4, he's got the the third one on a PS4 and he decided to buy me one on a PS3 because I got a PS3. Um he said that the basically with his it's very different to mine because he doesn't need he doesn't uh, when he bought the game and he looked he he thought there might be instructions but he didn't need to have the instructions whereas he has to have to do the game on the PS4 they have to download a system like instructions and stuff whereas my one doesn't have to my one's just this say the instruction thing and and yeah Luffy looks awesome like him look at him there oh uh, see. Um, the you know the pad how it works. Uh, as you can see here, there's Brook. Uh, there's Usopp. Um, who else is it? Uh, there's Frankie right there on the bottom. Uh, who else is in here? Again, the control remote. The control remote. Uh, yeah, it's showing you all the controls where to go. How to use them, kind of thing. Okay. Oh, this is different languages. Sorry. <laughs> well, I wonder it was a bit weird. I was like, huh? Oh, this is English. So they have in. What language is this? Is this German? I think it is in German. Wait, what language is this? Wait, 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 what language is this? Oh, this is... Oh, 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 it's silly me. It's got Neverland, Shrenka, Shenska, Somi. So they got like four, like, couple of languages, but it's not really... It's not really a thing, so...
anyways, so those are the games I have at the moment. I don't know how I ended up doing this. I know it's not a review or anything. It's just it's kind of an update what I do and kind of seeing what I have right now. I wanted to share with you guys since I love you guys so much and have supported me kind of more or less supported me for the past year since I never really used my YouTube channel YouTube, YouTube channel before, but now I'm using it now. So at least I've got some beautiful fans that care about me. So ever since I moved home, it looks a little more. You see the house, well my room. Uh, Mr. Sainsbury's is really thrilled as well, as as well as Lucy. Uh, this is Lucy here. Uh, I I will introduce you all my my fluffy animal family. That's what they are because they're all all crowded somehow somehow on top right here uh down here um some of them on top which is um a cr uh, having a problem with the screen again here we go again uh there we go uh, much better uh yeah yeah i think this is about it for today showing around and then in the next video I'll probably just as I promised I would do the the, the <laughs> I will literally do what I need to do which is called um reviewing back again I'm sorry I can't do reactions at the moment and YG blocked one of my videos which of course was big was with GDE and top so I'm sorry so don't worry about that, so I'm not really mad, but they got every right to do that because it's their property. But anyways, that is all you guys. Um once this whole house once this whole house is complete, I will make a video touring around the house when it's all cleared out. At the moment it's it's impossible. It's literally impossible to do because it's really messy. So that is all you guys. Um yeah. That is all you guys. Uh I know this is really not random but kinda out of the blue. Just I think I was dying to make a video to show you what's been recently happening. Uh didn't like I said I didn't get the job in McDonald's but I think God knows why, so it's not my kind of job anyways. Doing burgers and stuff. Uh my thing is what I do best is singing, acting and dancing and writing stories and talking to you guys on YouTube which I normally do best uh, ever since last year it kind of does change your life it kind of change you not just how can I say not just like oh, I can't explain it but it's, it gives you a little bit of confidence and and, it, and since I got since I started doing uh, stories fan fiction stories on Wattpad I never imagined that it would change it it completely changes you something to, you know there's some some stuff does completely change in you i mean i have a couple people who follow me on twitter which was i was surprised i was really surprised i never seen this coming i never saw this coming but I, it makes me feel happy it makes me feel happy that you know i do have people that really likes what i do best uh my fan fiction story, people love my stories. It's just like, oh my gosh, seriously, it's like, ah, wow, a lot of take in. And then you have here, which I only have 27 subscribers, but, but still, if it, even if it grows, I will still feel, feel thrilled, like, to have lovely people, awesome people like you guys on YouTube. I mean, YouTube is a big thing nowadays, uh, I never imagined to be this. Uh, uh, and since I'm struggling as well, uh, also doing all that stuff as well, like trying to find a crew to make web series and stuff, projects like, not really projects like experiment, but start doing proper things, like proper jobs, proper acting jobs. <laughs> so obviously that's why I was trying to find a job uh, for the time being. So I can earn some cash. So McDonald is out of the list. So I have a couple of shops I need to go into, like clothes shops and stuff, so I can 
get a job there and basically earn some cash and you know yeah uh, yeah so I'm still doing my list of dreams as you can remember a year ago I shared it to you some of the you guys shared it on on YouTube uh, yes uh, so my list is still there it, I just now I've got a little thing I think I'll show it on to thank you um there we go uh if I just do this right now as you can see um where the radiator is like where you dry your clothes on the window seal you see something like hanging there like look like a piece of paper well that is my new list of things I want to achieve right now for the time being so I know there's a lot of stuff on my my book of dreams that I want to achieve so badly and they're just dreams like yeah 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 so at the time being I have made a new list still the same from the book still remains the same from the book that I written down from my book of dreams it's just from like 2015 to next year what I want to achieve so for the time being uh one at the moment is job two web series three girl group four yeah in general many things I want to do so I have a couple girls that wants to be formed if in the girl group so still in process um, I know some people I want to combine it not just K-pop I also want to combine it from J-pop as well so I want to combine J-pop and K-pop together kind of thing but not together at the same time but yes yes so two different genres yeah I'm, f I'm feeling a bit thrilled at the moment I feel I feel overwhelmed so with that said you guys uh, probably tomorrow I'll do, do I'll do a review or probably today I can't promise I can't make any promises so I think this would be this week will be my last week of babysitting I make yay until Friday because my mom takes the the kid back to his mother on Friday so weekends I'm free until Mondays so I'm thrown back back here so that is all you guys um yeah and yeah please remember to subscribe my channel like this video share this video also uh please support all the reactors cable reactors on here on youtube uh such as a uh, multifaceted acg um uh, the jess life mr pol pol tv or michael whichever it's still the same person anyways um to Min Jin Jong Ki, Jerry KML, uh, Kim Zodi 16, uh, who else? There's so many of them, to be honest. There's me as well, kinda, kinda do, do reactions as well, but sometimes. Uh, who else? Oh yeah. Oh, that's Derek, uh, Ejax, uh, Hated Zainers, and also please, but there's there's a there's a more a lot of us on this community, K-pop community like Kate Buzzing, K-pop Savant, K-pop Steve, um, M Naz, uh, who else is in it too? I know there's more. There's more of us. I mean, let's just say the people that is in the K-pop community, please all support us. I mean. Some of us do reactions and some of us do reviews on it. So we do kind of both. I do both. By the same time, I do live reaction on anime. I'm just going to do. Probably I might do this this week. I can't make any promises, but yes, I really want to do this week like the latest chapters that I have been missing out on lately on Fairy Tale. Um, yeah, who. Who, who, okay. Ah. <sighs> like I said, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, please remember to follow me on my social media such as Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, MySpace, and Snapchat. And also, please remember to follow me 
on actually no like my fan page <laughs> um like my facebook fan page on uh, which is um I'm a Jane Palencia, which is me, obviously, you'll see it anyways. Uh, please remember to like my other fan page, which is the web series fan page. And for those who are into filming, you will find the group for that, which is also the same name. So, there's I have the group and the web, and the, um, the, the, the fan page. So, you can do both. You can like both of them, except for one of them, but my one is just, it's just the fan page. But... The second fan page it has it comes with the group so if you want to be part of the crew please also more you're more than welcome trying to join so i will be in touch with you as, as soon as i can um uh, please remember for those who want to join me or give me a message on or wanted to meet me and stuff please remember to add me and message me on hive.co.uk um chaney.com and on linkedin.com you'll find find me as Amma Jane so that's Amma Jane Palencia so you'll find me anyways you'll find me and you'll recognize me so with that said and also for those who love stories but for those who are into k-pop fan fictions j-pop fan fictions anime fan fictions uh stories in general basically stories in general in general could be english or spanish i don't know i might be doing a spanish um story so very soon because i found some couple of stories like when i was like a teenager uh i never got to finish it so i feel like i need to I feel like I need to re 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 rewrite these stories again and tell it to you guys. So okay, so that is all. Yes, I feel thrilled. I feel so thrilled right now. I just don't know what to say anymore. What is life? <laughs> so that is all, you guys. Uh, please remember to uh to follow me on Wattpad. DeviantArt and Asian fanfics for those who love stories and fanfictions and anything. Anything can happen. Uh, and also, please support me on the the what the what he's award 2015. Uh, I have a couple of stories that's up for it, so please remember to to read, um, to read, vote, and comment on my stories. And if there's any questions, any requests, you're more than welcome to. Leave your messages or your comments on my on my commentary section on my profile, and I'll respond as much as as quick as I can. So that is all, you guys. Please, rem that's all I can say. I don't know why I said please, but I already said what I what I needed to say. So yeah, that is all, you guys. And yon everyone, and salanghe.